Hi folks, got another Main Street Cafe leftover for you, something that Beth and I didn't have a chance to get to this morning on the show. I don't know what it is about the state of Florida, but we get some of the more bizarre stories out of that one particular state. Case in point, here's one that comes to us out of Lakeland, Florida. A lady there by the name of Mary Thorne, fighting with local officials to keep her six-foot-long pet alligator in her house. 125-pound reptile named Rambo. Now listen to this. She actually dresses the thing up in clothes. Uh, she has taught it how to ride on the back of a motorcycle. Oh, now that I want to see. And the thing even has its own bedroom in her house. She actually has had a license for this alligator for the past 11 years, but the problem is the thing just hit six feet long and it weighs 125 pounds. And so now wildlife officials down in Florida say, it really is too big to keep in the house, and you're supposed to have two and a half acres of land for this thing to roam on, and she doesn't have that. But she says uh, even if she did have the land available, she couldn't let Rambo go because uh, left outdoors, he has a sensitivity to sunlight. And she takes Rambo to schools and charity events, teaching people about reptiles. She says that she has trained him not to bite. Oh, yeah, those famous last words. Uh, Florida wildlife officials say that uh, they're going to take the case under investigation. So you can bet I'm going to put a little asterisk by this story. We're going to keep an eye on this one because I want to see how this plays out. If she gets to keep this alligator. And I'm going to go in search of some video. I want to find video of this and share it with you. So that's one of those leftovers we didn't have a chance to get to this morning. We'll see you tomorrow morning starting at 5 a.m. in the Main Street Cafe.